Um, I'm JP Percaro. I'm going to talk for a few minutes um, on a hashtag that I've been using a lot on Twitter, and it's called Make It Happen. And Make It Happen means a lot of things to a lot of people, and it's not necessarily just about libraries. It's about leadership. It's about how you live your life. It's about your mind and your actions. Um, so I'm going to try to not use the word Twitter too much. So, so far I've said it twice. You can keep track if you want. So make it happen is an ideal that uh, um, all of my f folks that I'm friends with, including Jamie and Alan, who's running the NJLA Unconference right now. Thanks for showing up, guys, that Michael Stevens is actually at. We've really taken on this mantle. What, but everyone's been asking us, what does it mean? What does it mean? What does make it happen mean? When I, I have a one sentence, what does make it happen mean? It, make it happen is you've got an idea, and then you take the steps you make the actions necessary to see that that idea becomes a reality. It is. It, it sounds simple, but you know it's it's the most difficult thing you can do. Good ideas are are you know not few and far between. We are surrounded by good ideas. So many good ideas just came out of what Jamie was saying. But here's the thing. You can love what Jamie just said and agree with it and tell everyone about it. But what Make It Happen is about is about, wow, Jamie just said some really terrific stuff. I'm going to do this now in my library or in any organization. I've done a lot of reading on leadership lately. And um, leadership... Becoming a leader, that's part of Make It Happen. Because um, what a leader does, no matter what their role is in their family, at their job, um, at their church, or among their friends, or any group, any group you are, you're a part of, a leader is, is, is someone who behaves in a certain way. A leader is someone who believes they are a leader. They are someone with empathy. They are someone who takes action and builds a team. So to make it happen, you, you've got to do all of those great leadership things. So to me, make it happen is a leadership quality. So then I'd say, step one, be friends with people. The other hashtag I use a lot, and I use them in conjunction, is party hard. And what, why I think party hard is so important to libraries is that to build a team, you have to make an emotional connection with other people. And there's no greater emotional connections you make than when you're partying, right? Partying is when you're happy, you're at your best, you're elated, right? You, this, is, this is when you are at your fullest. Okay, and, and that enthusiasm and that energy naturally builds a team, right? So party hard is my first part of make it happen and build that team. The second thing is get all of your team's ideas together and say, great ideas, everyone. You know, empathetically say, great ideas, everyone. Now, let's take these steps to, to actually do it. Um, I don't want to talk for too long. We're actually going a little bit longer th because I still have Michael and Eli coming. Um, but I want to tell you the story of how this happened. So um, I was asked to speak at the Connecticut Library Association, which is going on right now. Shout outs to the uh, Connecticut Library Association, who puts on an awesome conference. Jamie was the conference, one of the conference chairs last year. Terrific conference with terrific people. I agreed to speak, and I was so excited about that. And then the unconference that me and Alan were putting together happened to be the same day, and I said, oh, no. I'm not going to be able to do the unconference now. And because me and Alan have built a team together, Alan said, hey, let's get the, co the Connecticut Library Conference and the New Jersey Library Conference to work together. Wow, that's a great idea. Let's do it. Let's make that happen. So we talked to the conference committee in NJLA. We talked to the conference committee in CLA. They were thrilled. Then it's like, okay, well, what's our next step? Hey, let's just give away this webinar free. How can we, how can we make that happen? 
the Learn RT steps up out of the ALA. So let me shout out Learn RT again. And they say, hey, we'll sponsor this webinar so you could give it away for free. So I ask Eli, this is this happened right around the time of that libraries are screwed talk. I said, hey, Eli, man, uh, I'd love to hear you talk. And let me just give uh, a sh uh, plug for my website, 8bitlibrary.com. We uh, dubbed Eli the patron saint of our library, of our website, before the libraries are screwed talk, before he was a mover and shaker, before all the fun uh, recent press he's gotten. Um, and so now we've got this national thing going on. And then I said, but what if people can't, you know, you know, what if we're not just going to stop with this webinar. Let's do something on Twitter, too. Let's get this chat room, too. So we've got a hashtag going for the unconference. This might be the first ever library Twitter unconference. The hashtag is LibUncon. And if you want to participate in the chat room after this webinar, the chat room's at tinychat.com slash 8 library. So now we took a very small idea, and we grew it, and we grew it, and we took the steps that were necessary to make it happen. So if you have a great idea, take those necessary steps to make it happen.